All right, so uh, any uh, self-respecting algebra class has to have a good chapter on solving equations. Now let me tell you the gist of solving equations. Suppose you are here and suppose I tell you, you know what, with your big three and a half pound brain, why don't you think about a number, any number you want, and I'm gonna tell you what the number is right here, it's inside my hand. Now you're thinking about a number, right? Just make your life easier, make it a small number, not too big number. So for anything from one to 10, right? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna to try to guess what the number is. You have your the number in your brain. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to double it. So you double it. That means multiply it by two. Okay? Now when you're done doubling it, I want you to add 10 to it. Add 10 to it. You got it? Now after you've added 10 to it, I want you to divide it by two. Divide it, the whole number by two. And after you've divided by two, I'll give you some time to think. I told you to make it easy. If you want, you can start over. I'll give you another chance, and I won't even switch the number that I have in my hand. Again, start with a number. You got it. Double it. You got it. Add 10 to it. You got it. Divide by 2. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to subtract the number that you started off with. Subtract it from the number you have now, and I bet you I know what the number it is that you have in your in your head. It's 5. Yippee-ki-yay see why they pay me? You see why they pay me? So that right there, that's the uh, essence. Uh, solving fractions or solving equations is a little bit like this game. It says, hey, I've got a number and I'll give you some hints about it. And if I give you some hints about it, can you guess what the number is? That's the essence of solving equations. So first, uh, let's start off with uh, some very very basic things like what is an equation again as I said before it's you can think about it this way it's a hint about some number here's a most naive most innocent little equation in the entire universe it goes like this I've got some number in my in my hand I won't give, tell you what it is but I'll give you a hint about it if you if you take three times that number we usually call that number a variable or x three times the number you get 21 can you guess what the number is can you guess what the number is I'm reaching for the number now. Yes, it's 7 because 3 times 7 is 21. That right there, that's an equation. An equation, in some ways, you can think about it this way. It's a, uh, it's a hint about some number. And there are other ways of thinking about equations, which I'll, I'll talk more later, maybe, if you pay extra money. Uh, but for now, um, for our class, algebra class, let's just go with this notion of an equation. That's what it is for us at the moment. Um, oh, in case you're listening in the future, in the future, it'll be an exchange rate, a very, very powerful exchange rate that says that you can exchange this for that, you can get with this, or you can get with that. They're exchangeable. That's sort of another powerful, powerful view of equations. But, never mind that, that I should have charged for that. Um, all right, that's an example of an equation. Um, we, we, we start to categorize them into different buckets, different kinds of equations. We say, like, oh, these are easy, oh, these are interesting, whatever. Well, we don't use those words. We use other words, like, this is degree one. If it's 3x and it has no exponent, like there's no visible one, that means that the natural exponent is 1. We call these linear equations. And they're different. We make a distinction. Well, that's also linear because it's degree 1, degree 1. This one we say is not linear. Uh, this one is degree 2. You see x squared. This is what we call a polynomial term, a monomial. This is degree 2. You look at the highest one, and whichever one is the highest one, we call that the degree for the equation. This is called the degree 2 equation. Uh, and there are others that are not even in polynomial equations. They got fractions. These are called rational equations. Remember, rational is a fancy word for fractions. And you see the variables at the bottom? Those are called rational. And they can get as crazy as you want. You could have square roots. You could have logs, which we don't even know what they are yet. We could have exponentials. Think about this. How about this for a party trick? You could say, come up to your friend and say, hey, I've got a number in my hand. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint about the number. If you take number times itself and then multiply it by 5 and add 3 times the number and they take the square root and you add 1 to it, oh, you get exactly exactly the same as multiplying by 8, subtracting take 10, taking the logarithm of that and then adding 5 raised to the same number. Can you guess what the number is? And you say, whoa, take it easy. But that's what an equation is. It's, uh, it's an incredible hint about some number and it's often the, the challenge or the fun part is in trying to figure out what the number is. That's one aspect of it. Anyways, this is not a linear equation, and uh, we will focus all our attention on the ones that 
are linear. Linear ones can always be reduced to a form like this. They have an, a con coefficient times a variable is equal to some other coefficient. If they can be reduced like this form, we call these linear equations. And these are the type that we will focus on now because this is elementary algebra. We're not going for Superman algebra yet. Uh, we're just trying to learn the basics. So we'll try to do these for the moment. And we'll leave the other ones for a later day. Uh, all our attention will be on these ones, linear ones. Okay? So that's what equations are. Uh, those are different kinds of equations, and these are the easiest ones, and these are the ones that we will be studying today. Okay? So, on with it. Maybe we should spend a couple minutes just talking about what a solution is. It may not always be clear when you've solved it or something, so let's just say it right now. If you get to the point on the equation when you have x equals blah, you might already be done, so long as this blah over here has no x's in it. This is called isolating x. x is all by itself on one side, x is equal to blah, and there are no x's on the other side. This is what we call a solution. This is a solution. This is a solution. x equals blah, and there are no x's here. That's a solution. This is a solution. x equals blah, and there are no x's over here. I know many teachers will have you simplify this. That's for the birds. We already learned how to do that. That's a different task. That's not what a solution says nothing about simplified or not simplified, it's just a different way of writing it. What makes this a solution is the fact that you have x equals blah, and there are no x's over here. That's what makes it a solution. This is what makes it not a solution. x equals blah, and you still have x's over here. So you really have not isolated x. And therefore, we would not call this a solution to the equation, to any equation. This is not what we call a solution. Okay, this is not what we call a solution because you got x's on both sides. This is not what we call a solution because you've got x's on both sides. In order to be a solution, you got to have x on one side, like this, and no x's on the other side. All right, that's what a solution is. That's how you know when you're done solving the equation. All right, on with it. Let's get on to uh, solving some equations. I'm going to go through these steps right here, steps 1, 2, 3, and 4. And these steps are amazing. They will always help you solve any linear equation under the sun in the entire universe in this galaxy and in all the galaxies if it's a linear equation with real numbers these four steps will help you solve them and we'll do I'll do a little fun something funny here I'll start with the last step first and we'll go in reverse you'll see why because that's genius that's exactly how you should do it um, how you could do it nobody should tell you how you should do things or anything this is one way to do it you should be more than free to invent your own way. As long as you stick to the rules, you have more power than you think. That's why we designed the course this way. You, I teach you the rules. We, we learn the rules, and then we set, it, set you free to do whatever you want. All right. Uh, so let's get started here. 